We hear a lot of people saying that we need to hold criminals accountable. The San Francisco District Attorney took a step in that direction today, announcing charges against a handful of suspects arrested for stealing from Union Square stores last Friday. ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow joins us live with the DA's announcement. Melanie. Absolutely. You can see and hear these protesters that are here outside of the district attorney's office. They've been calling for Chase Boudin's recall. This press conference to announce felony charges against nine individuals who were arrested in connection with burglaries in San Francisco this weekend. One of those at the Louis Vuitton in Union Square, which we have video to show you of. Four individuals charged in connection with the Louis Vuitton incident. Their charges included looting during a state of emergency, second degree burglary, grand theft and receiving stolen property. Also charged in connection with the incidents at Union Square, an individual who was a passenger in a car from Union Square, that individual charged with possessing a firearm with a prior felony. In addition to the Union Square incidents, there were also additional burglaries in the city this weekend. One of those at a cannabis dispensary. Three individuals charged in connection with that one. And another burglary at a Walgreens. One individual charged in connection with that burglary. Reporters asked the district attorney whether or not these nine individuals will stay in custody and whether or not these charges could be reduced or dropped entirely. This was his answer. But ultimately, in every single case, including these, it is the decision of the judges of the Superior Court of San Francisco whether somebody stays in custody pending trial or whether they're released. Similarly, it is the decision of the judges of the Superior Court of San Francisco to decide what sentence should be imposed, including whether charges, in many instances, filed as felonies, as here, are subsequently reduced. My office has some discretion in that matter, and judges have discretion as well. And right now you're looking at video of reporters and photographers having to quickly move inside for this press conference, which initially had been scheduled to take place outside. But again, then those protesters showed up and we were quickly moved inside. The district attorney is saying that these individuals will be arraigned tomorrow. Live in San Francisco, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News. All right, okay. Melanie, thank you. You still hear the protest behind Melanie ongoing for quite some time now. All right.